Hey there guys, my name is Caleb. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for coming and checking out this video today. Uh, today I'm going to be reviewing this pair of workman's uh, pants from Monsivace & Co. They're in this beautiful selvage Wabash fabric. So let's get right into the video. First things first, while I'm holding them like this, we see this really beautiful uh, Monsivace cloth patch right here with his logo of an eagle saying Los Angeles, California and his name. It says that it gives options for the lot and the width and the length. He did not have these filled out on my pair. Uh, I think it would be more of a thing as far as if they were being stocked in stores to make sure that that was filled out, but you could always mark it yourself if you'd like. Here you can see they have a, here you can see they have two pockets with bar tacks instead of rivets reinforcing the pockets and an overall straight line design. There is no yoke on the back of these pants, so that's something that is worth taking into consideration. A yoke is what a lot of people will put on pants, where from here to here, you'll see it comes together in a V. But as you can see, the leg goes completely straight up on these pants, and there is no yoke. And so the yoke kind of helps the pants fit into your, into your butt or over your butt and kind of into a curve. But that's not something personally that I've had any issue with. Uh, you can also see here that he has a waist adjuster on here. You can see I have a little bit of wear on these, uh, especially on this little waist adjuster area. It's an overall straight design. So if you look at something like these pants uh, in comparison to something like his El Jefe pants, these are a later, these are inspired by a later period of pant from the 1920s versus a Western 1880s inspiration or an 1800s inspiration that the El Jefe pants, which I have back here, are inspired by. And so because of that, these are designed with a completely unique pattern without this yoke and with overall straighter design details and like a straighter and neater looking motif. It is not as uh, unique or out of the box looking, which isn't a bad thing. It fit, helps them fit their style a lot better. So here you can see on the front, these possess the suspender buttons that most of his pants do with this laurel leaf design that he uses on lots of his pants. These in comparison to the El Jefe pants or other ones have a shinier metal to them. They aren't aged at all. You can see here that these have a straight diagonal pocket. It is very flat and horizontal. It can be a little difficult to get your hands into, but overall it's not a huge deal to someone like me. You can see there's a little bit of bar tacking here to reinforce the pockets. And there is an overall lack of rivets on these pockets and an added amount of bar tacking. And so basically what that means is they have this extra stitch here in order to reinforce the pants at these high stress points. And normally you would see rivets or hidden rivets, which are very historically significant when it comes to the history of pants. But here he uses this bar tacking, which from what I can tell is just as good. I've never seen anyone have an issue with a pair of bar tacked pants. So you can see these pants are in this really beautiful blue color with these Wabash dots all over them. One thing worth taking into consideration is when you first get these, they don't necessarily look exactly like they do in the pictures he has on his website. The dots on them appear to almost be a bluish green when you first get it. And it kind of confused me. I wasn't really sure what was going on when I first got them. It wasn't a big deal. You couldn't tell from far away, but up close you could definitely tell that it was not a pure white. But after I gave them their first wash, a lot of that different color drained out. And then as I continued to wear them and I eventually gave them a second wash, almost all of the color drained out. And now they're clearly white going down here. When you look at the dots, they're pretty even, but there is a little bit of variation and I really enjoy that. Overall, the work is super neat, but you can still see there's the touch of the human hand. Just a little bit of loose thread here, a loose thread there, it's not the end of the world. So Damien, the owner of Montsevace and Co, makes all of these pants by himself in his shop. He also produces a wide variety of different products, including shirts, vests, and really, really well-made custom or stock uh, caps, like sports caps or newsboy caps. All of his patterns are really, really great, and that's something that I really, really appreciate from him. He does not have the most consistent stitching, but what he does have, he doesn't have the most consistent stitching or the most unique fabrics, but what I think is the most important thing that he nails and really makes these pants perfect for me is that he does a great, great job with his patterns. He is really, really good at making pants with a beautiful stove pipe leg and a really, really classic uh, old timey looking fit. 
I bought these pants a little bit small and so uh, unfortunately they're too tight in the top lock which is something and which is an issue I had on my other pair of Montsevace pants which I actually bought a size up after purchasing these. So these are in a 30 and my other pair of pants, those duck canvas pants are in a 32. And for me, both of those are too small. I was wearing a 32 and I thought it would work. I had lost some weight and it ended up just not being right for me. I think this is because when Damien posts his size and his size charts online, they're exact measurements. And so I wasn't really used to that. A lot of people do the vanity sizing. And so this is an issue I've had back and forth trying to get the right size with these different pants. And when it comes to having pants that I'm wearing with suspenders, it is better to have them oversized than to have them too tight because if you have them too tight, it'll ride up in the crotch section, which becomes a really bad issue as far as being uncomfortable, but it also makes them look bad. If you've seen my other video on my other Monsevace pants, you will know that that's a problem I had on those as well. And so this is a problem I'm hoping to fix on the next pair that I already pre-ordered, which is one size up even from these at a 34. So this should work well. I think these pants are really great and they are one of the only Wabash uh, overall style pants that I've been able to find that have a really, really classic high rise. A lot of the brands who do these reproductions or make these pants, they often look really great and they have great historically accurate details, but what they always ruin, at least in my opinion, is the pattern. These always have low rises and to me when I'm saying low rise, I mean below you know, 13 to 12 and a half inches and below, which for me personally, because I have such a long torso is way too short. And so these at only a 30 waist measurement have almost a 14 inch rise. And so that allows them to sit comfortably at your belly button or even above, which means if you size up and wear them with suspenders, they hang really, really comfortably. But obviously the issue I have with these and the reason I'm going to be selling them, getting rid of them is because I did not do that. And I did the exact opposite actually, and I ended up sizing down. So I hope you guys like this review and I hope you hear some of this advice as far as sizing for these pants goes and you're able to use it if you're interested in buying any of his pants. If you have any questions, please let me know or contact Damien. He has great customer service. Overall, this is a great pair of pants and I hope you guys like this review. Thanks so much. Bye.